push, Max. Margaret Johnson. So you're doing some shopping. No passwords. Didn't hurt a bit, did it, Margaret? I know something about identity theft. It's happened to me twice now. Uh, the last time was about three weeks ago. Uh, someone had cloned my debit card, and we went out to uh, dinner here in the Woodlands uh, uh, one Friday evening. Uh, when I came back, we used the debit card. When I came back, uh, I checked my bank balance uh, with Bank of America, and I found that uh, in Missouri City and in Stafford, uh, someone had made five different transactions uh, on that debit card. Called Bank of America, killed the debit card. Uh, then immediately after I killed the debit card, uh, within about five minutes, someone tried to use it again. Uh, this one was not, uh, was, uh, was not near as frustrating as the one that happened to me in, uh, in 2000. In uh, February of 2000, uh, someone, made, uh, someone made some counterfeit copies of my checks and they placed their picture on a bogus copy of my driver's license. And in one weekend, two days, uh, they wrote uh, $6,000 worth of bogus checks in Dallas. I learned about it the next, uh, the next, uh, the next Tuesday. Uh, it's a very, very frustrating experience. Uh, it, uh, it makes you mad. Uh, you're angry. You're frustrated. You feel totally out of control. Someone is using your identity. Someone is destroying the name that it took years to establish and you have no control over it uh, a, a, at all. It makes you very, very angry. Uh, then you find out it's very, very easy to get into the databases of uh, check verification services, but it's very, very hard to get out. I would spend 30, 40, five minutes, maybe an hour sometime on hold before I could ever talk to someone. Then when you would talk to someone, then when you would finally get to talk with them, they didn't believe you. They thought you were just another check writer. That's real, real frustrating. Uh, with the help of the uh, Harris County Constable's Office, uh, we were actually able to obtain a picture of the person that was, uh, that was using my identity. Uh, and that even made me even more frustrated and felt more helpless because I knew what he looked like, but I had no idea who he, uh, who he was. Mad. Uh, you'd like to encounter this guy and maybe spend just a few minutes in a, in a room alone with him. Uh, <laughs> uh, not that that would do any good. Uh, when someone takes the name, a good name, a good reputation that it took you years to establish, then in about two days just completely destroys it. It took me more than two years to, uh, to finally get all of that straightened up. And this is the file. This is the file that I accumulated. Uh, that uh, that uh, uh, of all the documents, all of the affidavits, all of the telephone calls, all of the letters that I had to write. Uh, fortunately, my wife's uh, identity was left intact. It was uh, it was it was not tampered with. That would have made me even madder uh, than than when it happened uh, uh, to me. Uh, I can imagine. I can just imagine how Jesus Christ feels. The church is. His bride. We are. We are. We are His bride. And when the world steals the identity of the church of the bride of Christ, misuses it, uh, uses it for purposes that's not not meant to be, I can imagine how Jesus feels. Mm -hmm.